my name is Andrew Davila. I'm 16 and I'm from Texas. Oh, and I ride a horse to school. And I'm addicted to my sponge. So I basically started, I was with my mom at Walmart. I needed a sponge, you know, to clean my dish. I remember going to the sponge area. I saw a smiley face one and I, once I saw it, I got emotional and a little tear dropped down my face. It was like in slow motion. And that's where it all started. From then on, I just couldn't stop staring at it. I had to see like right now. Bro, stop. It's just a sponge. I just can't stop. It's just a, it's just a sponge. So each time I wash the dishes, I just stop what I was washing and I would just stare at the sponge. It was just... It's just, it makes me smile. It makes me feel some type of way. I couldn't wash the dishes. My mom would always get mad at me. Even when I went to bed, what I still do, I usually put the sponge under my pillow and... So that's why I can't sleep at all. I have eye bags, as you can tell. I'm starting to get eye bags. But it's all worth it because and one day I, I really hope I can marry him. My family, my parents, they get mad at me all the time. They they don't claim me as their son anymore. But I just can't help it. Even when I'm using the restroom and I think I think of the sponge, I just have to get out ASAP and just go look at my sponge. It goes so far to the point where I could barely eat. Once I start eating, I, I think of my sponge and how I'm gonna wash my plate where I'm eating and I just quickly have to go get my sponge and stare. The sponge is honestly one of my best friends. I have fun with it all the time. It's, sometimes my sponge flexes on me and just, it just does too much. But. It gets to the point where my parents had to call 911 because I just locked myself in my room with my sponge and you know what happens after that. Since then on, my parents have never let me wash my dishes anymore. Each time we go to Walmart, they always have me in a collar because they don't want me to go to the sponge section. It honestly breaks my heart. I just need my sponge. I need my sponge. <laughs> There's been times where during my soccer games, I would just run to my backpack. Mid-game, mid-game, I would just run to my backpack, get my sponge out, and just stare at it. Sometimes I would try to be slick and get the sponge from my mom's room because she would always hide it from me. Andrew! Andrew! I told you! There's also been really awkward moments when I get caught dancing with my sponge. <laughs> I've been trying to stay away from it as much as I can so I could just forget about it, but it just comes right back to. So that's it, that's pretty much my addiction. Hopefully one day it goes away. We'll be keeping in touch so I could tell y'all more about it, but yeah. I will see y'all next Thursday.